All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So people want to know where I stand on the title of this video. Pine Phone, Librem 5, which is my choice? Now, if you followed my channel at all, at one bit, you will understand that I have been very, 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 very critical about the maker of the Librem 5. And that has to do with mainly their track record. They try to accompany bad news with good news, but the problem is that good news is always an announcement of another product, another service. How about you finish the services and experience that you're trying to sell, quote unquote, on the prior stuff you already announced before announcing new shit. And that breaks down to a person in charge issue, i.e. Todd Weaver. You can have grandiose ideas, but suck at their execution. Hey, Todd, you kind of suck at the execution bit. So really what it boils down to for me, is their track record. They announce products without actually finishing a prior product. Like, like I can list the amount of stuff that they've announced and never have gone anywhere with. NVIDIA powered laptops. Still waiting on that one. The two in one. Still waiting on that one. Oh, another Pine Phone delay. Oh, hey, look, here's a Librem server. Oh, hey, look, another Pine Phone delay. Here's a here's an overglorified NUC. Oh, and we're all, we're launching our own quote unquote private instance of like open source projects. Oh, more bad news. Here's a $2,000 thing of a phone we can't already ship. That doesn't inspire confidence in me to buy stuff from you. I love the ideals, but your execution is shit balls bad. So then I sit here and I look at the competition that's at, for this particular area be it from laptops or be it from other ends of, you know, the Linux ecosystem. So you have Pine 64 and you have Purism. Pine 64 is very upfront about what their product is. These guys are not. These guys are shipping delays. Okay. Here's a very, very detailed reason, a specific reason why, and this is why and how come and all the other details that go with it. These guys are trying to build a platform themselves. I can commend that. These guys are trying to build a platform of the community. I commend that more. So for those that are wondering what I ended up getting, I ended up getting the Convergence Edition of the Pine phone. I waited for one reason, the upgrade to the RAM and the upgrade to the memory were the things that said, I can justify that purchase now. The Pine phone gives developers of Linux distros for ARM a platform to target and build against, to build and have that great software experience that we, we always talk about, that we, so we, you know, we crave. That is what the Pine phone allows. And it doesn't matter if it's Ubi ports or Ubuntu touch, whatever you want to call it. Um, Loon OS, Sailfish OS, uh, whatever the hell the open source version of Sailfish is, uh, the, the rebranded Mamo Mimo thing. Uh, the, the Mo Mobian, I believe is the other, the, like the mobile Debian version, the myriad, you know, K, uh, Plasma Mobile, uh, Manjaro, take your pick. What they are doing is the epitome of open source. Purism is taken, and I'm talking specifically about the guy in charge. I'm not talking about the day in, day out employees who are helping build in that platform. I'm talking the dude in charge. Purism as a company. And the dude in charge running it are not doing that. 
And that is the problem. Because for all the hate and bashing that people used to give Canonical, you guys are sure as shit quick to ride, hop on that lap for fucking purism, though, and say, yay, everything we want, privacy, and yada, and yet they are going it alone, doing everything that you claimed and hated that Canonical did with Ubuntu Touch, Unity, etc. Which one is it you want? Because personally, I feel like bitch slapping the hypocrisy out of you. So you're either for open and community-driven projects, or you're not. You can have a nuanced argument about that and the approach, and there's binary blobs and yada, yada, yada. What the what Pine does is in the spirit of open source, is the spirit of community building, and it is done, and, and they are contributing to open source projects beyond themselves. Financially, they have a financial portion in this, and they are giving directly to those projects, not just the mysterious upstream like other companies do so for those that are wondering why why it's a pine phone over a Librem 5 in my choice it's because they actually get the nature of what it really means to have a quote-unquote Linux powered phone because it's a community driven phone purism's community it might be there, but that community doesn't like outsiders and it doesn't like different takes, but they'll ride or die for a company that I don't have much hopes of riding along much longer before it decides to die. Unfortunately, that's my outlook on purism with Todd Weaver at the head.